Next, campaigners say that free sanitary towels and tampons should be available in primary schools to stop girls missing school when they're on their periods. The Chancellor, Philip Hammond, yesterday announced that they will be provided to secondary schools and colleges in England from the next school year. Campaigners point out that some girls start their periods as young as eight. Let's talk now to Amika George, who's led the campaign for free sanitary products for children whose families can't afford them. She was named one of Time magazine's most influential teenagers. Lucy Cannon is here, PE teacher from an academy in Bristol which provides free sanitary products and says it's helped improve participation at the school. And Nadia Collier, who works in a primary school in Hackney in London, and wants the government to extend its help to primary schools. Uh, OK, why is this necessary, would you say? We know that this is 100% happening in the UK and it's not just affecting girls in secondary schools and colleges. I think it's incredible that the government has finally announced that they're going to provide the products for free, as Scotland has done. My campaign, Free Periods, has been campaigning for this for over two years and it's amazing that they finally responded. But I do think it needs to be rolled out to primary schools because there's definitely a need there. Charities are providing the products in primary schools to as many as 25% of girls sometimes and it's amazing that they're doing taking this step but it does need to go further. Is it an issue in your school? Very much so. Is it your primary? Yes, very much so. In um, what way? In the sense of we, for, the, for example, my primary school is in a deprived area um, and we look at children who are in receipt of free school meals so we know those families are deprived families um, and children are going into their menstrual cycle a lot earlier um, and just the support that they would need from primary schools to be able to go through those those times is essential and we're seeing it more and more mm. with young girls now in our school and Lucy you would say what to the Chancellor I think it's really important to make sure that we've got free products for all school children from all ages it's been amazing that we've now got in secondary school and colleges but primary schools definitely need them as well. Okay. And what difference will it make to secondary schools and colleges, do we all think? I think it'll make a huge difference. Scotland has already pledged, has already started giving out um, the products for free in schools, colleges and universities, and we know that it's transforming so many lives. The period poverty is literally robbing girls of an education, and it's awful that in the UK in 2019, girls are too poor to go to school. So hopefully this will make a huge difference. But I do also think it needs to be, as well as rolled out to primary schools, as we've said, it needs to be enshrined in legislation, because this shouldn't just be a political commitment that the government can make on a one-off and then mm. the next government can come in yeah. and take away. It needs to be solidified as a law. Are girls at your primary actually missing school because they can't <laughs> afford sanitary products and therefore they cannot come to school? I would, I would definitely say so, but I wouldn't be able to say definitively that's the reason because we would have right. various excuses, yeah. but we are aware that that is one of the main reasons mm. why some children would be missing school. The stigma, the yeah. being ashamed of asking for help and support um, but not being able to talk about it. Sure. And how do we change that, Lucy, so that it is completely normal? I mean, I, you know, I can't imagine being 12, 15, even 22 and wanting to talk about my period to anybody. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But being young and not having the right stuff to help me when I'm on my period, that's a nightmare. Yeah, so we've just got a really open policy about it that we talk with all our students um, about periods. There's nothing to be ashamed of. And they know that they can come to any member of staff within our school and as for the red box, we've made it available at different locations within the school and we've also ensured that they can take whatever they need, whether that's an entire pack of pads to last them their whole period or whether they just need one sanitary towel to last them the rest of the day or for those few hours. Where do you provide all the free stuff? In the loose? No, so they're kept at the moment, we've got them in three um, different places within the school. Right. So one within reception, one in another office and down in PE. Okay. And, and and girls openly will go up to reception and take stuff, they yes. feel okay about that? Yeah, they're absolutely fine with it. They normally come in and just say, can I use the box? Yeah. Of course, not okay. a problem, and they take as much as they need. Okay. Thank you all. Thank we'll you. see if the, uh, the goodwill of the Chancellor extends to primaries. We'll see what happens. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you.